Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aries? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. How are you guys doing? Hi, how are you? I miss you guys. I miss y'all so much. Thank you so much, all of my subscribers, for your patience and your understanding. I had to do, I, I was on vacation, plus I was, I'm relocating. So all, everything at one time and I still have a long ways to go but I'm going through my transformation and I feel good about it but I miss you guys I really miss you guys y'all doing okay thank you oh my god here's a big hug <clears throat> that I sent out to you your energy to my energy thank you so much y'all I miss you guys, okay? This is a new platform, okay? Temporarily, you know, I'm getting myself together, okay? But, um, yeah, to all of my subscribers, I hope you've been keeping your energy up. I hope you've been keeping your vibration up since I've been gone. Have y'all been doing the work, okay? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. To new to new viewers, subscribers, come on in. Take what resonates. You know, you know what it is. Okay. If it does not apply with you, if it does not fit, hey, don't make it fit. Reverse the roles. Okay. Reverse things how it fits in your life. Because listen, I don't know your life. Okay. So you're gonna have to reverse things, reverse roles in your life how they fit. Okay. So. Let's find out where your vibration is at. Let's see what's going on. I hope y'all can see me very clearly. Okay, spirit guys, this is for Aries. So Aries, I recorded your video earlier, okay? But I was having problems with it. I was having problems and I could not, it did not take. So I have to do another reading for you, okay? But I'm not going to stop until the message come out, okay? So let's see where your vibration is. Spirit guys, what is Aries vibration? I hope it was something similar to what it was because it was a very good reading. Okay. Uh, Aries is about animals. Okay. It says animals are always at a high vibration. They are not concerned with life's details. Okay. So hold your cat or dog. If you don't have one, just, you know, you know, embrace, uh, talk to a bird or guinea pig, learn from them or however it goes to say, if you don't have a pet, then borrow your neighbors. Okay. I don't know who's going to borrow somebody's pet, but, uh, <laughs> okay. Go to the pet shop. Okay. Maybe get you an animal. Okay. All right. Because they have very beautiful energy, very beautiful energy. Okay. All right. So, um, I am going to say this, your reading that, that was before that didn't take, it, it was talking about you are good enough. I, I feel it's telling me that a lot of you is, is really being hard on yourself, self-critical thoughts about yourself. And it has a lot to do with your past relationship that you were in. And spirit wants you to get out of that mindset of putting yourself down self-critically, yourself okay it wants you to get out of that that's what your last um that's what you're reading before was talking about okay a self body movement okay Body movement, Aries. It says moving your body dissipates stagnant, okay, energy and increases your vibration. Walk, run, swim, dance, any type of movement. Spirit wants you to just do it, okay. And like I was telling you before in, in your other reading, it was talking about self-critical thoughts and stuff, okay, in order to get out of that stagnant mindset, okay, that negative way of thinking. Spirit wants you to connect with animals or just go out do some body movements okay do some body movements and just walk run whatever it is to get out of that stagnant uh, I feel like some of you really sit around and think too much and when you begin to think too much I feel like you're very critical of yourself and when you're critical of yourself you're finding fault in yourself you're blaming yourself for things that you should not be blaming because your past situation 
blamed you and, and was very manipulated towards you. So you're still holding that energy of what someone has said to you, what that person, that man, that woman said to you in your past relationship, whatever situation it was. OK, spirit wants you to let go of that. OK, it's not your fault. All right. And don't be self-critical. Uh, spirit wants you to um, um when you think it's something negative, wants you to speak something positive over top of that. If you're saying I'm not good enough, you ask yourself, what if I am good enough? What if I am good enough? You know how you have that one side of your critical saying, well, maybe I ain't good enough. Maybe what, what my ex, uh, my ex woman, my ex wife, uh, my, my dad, my mom, my friend, my sister, my uncle, whoever was, told me I wasn't good. Maybe I'm not good enough. No, you don't. No, you don't. You say, what if I am good enough? Absolutely. You, you are good enough and more. Okay. All right. All right. When you get into that type of energy, mirror work, that card wanted to come out. I only pulled two, but spirit wanted to come. You get it. You look in that mirror, look into a mirror and make a funny face. One that brings forth a laugh or a smile. Tell yourself that you are amazing. Okay. That you are amazing. See, the devil, whoever, the you know, whatever tried to stop me from bringing your first reading out. But I'm, see, I'm about to put it together with this reading. Okay? Your body movement. Get out of that stagnant energy. Get around some animals. I don't give a crap if you go to the darn dog pound. Get around some high vibrational animals. Okay? Raise your vibration. Get out of your mind. Stop overthinking. Stop thinking that you're not good enough. Stop letting what someone told you, whether it's a mom, dad, uncle, sister, brother, whoever, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, whoever told you, get that out your head because... They was telling you that because that's how they felt about themselves. Okay. All right. Aries, let's see where your energy is at. Spirit guys, what is the energy for Aries? What is Aries energy? All right. Let's find out. That is the third chakra. Okay. That means that, uh, you know, that's that discerning. Okay. All right. Angel of strength. I feel like a lot of you have persevered. A lot of you have you, the angel of strength. It's all about perseverance, taming yourself, control. You are not weak anymore. Okay, so don't let those critical think the way you think critically affect it. Affect your vibration because you are strong. You are worthy. You have came for a long way. You have gained a lot of confidence in your life. You are the angel of strength. Okay. All right. So stop letting those negative thoughts run through your head, Aries. Okay. One more energy card for Aries spirit. Mm. Man holding the coin. Okay. Uh, some of you are very, this can be a man, this can be a woman. Okay. Holding the coin. You're very about your business, your pinnacles. You're handsome. You, okay. Okay. You're handsome. You're nice looking. It's something about your eyes. Okay. You have it going on. Stop. Spirit wants you to look in that mirror. Okay. Mirror work and tell yourself, I am amazing. Okay. You put it in the comment, Aries. I am a ray. I am amazing. I am worthy. I am about my business, about my life. Okay. You would not do any self-critical thinking. No, putting yourself down, making yourself think that you're not worthy of anything because you are an amazing person. All right. Okay. That's your energy. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of energy I want to feel in your reading. So, the, 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 the devil ain't stopped nothing over here, okay? That low vibration ain't stopped nothing because even if it fails with the video, I'm going to pour it over into your your video. You ain't stopped nothing. It's it, it just that it, it didn't want it to come out, but it's coming out. Your mirror work. You look in that mirror, make a funny face and say, uh, I love you and uh, I am amazing, okay? Because you are amazing. You are amazing. Yes, you are. Thank you, spirit guides. What is the, okay, animal card for Aries? So we already know the animals. Let's find out what animal card going to come out. Okay. So your animal card is the dolphin, Aries. It's the dolphin. 
And there's a message in this card, and I'm going to read it. It says, I understand communication from others, including what's in, what isn't said. Okay? Peacefulness and playfulness are mine, now and always. I go with the ever-changing flow of life, willingly and joyfully. I breathe deeply, and oxygen replenishes my body. Every breath I take increases my life force and, visual, and, vital, and vitality, okay? And that is the dolphin. In case if y'all want to take a picture of that, that's the dolphin, okay? Now, your gemstone or your crystal is brucite, okay? I might have, don't judge me, y'all, okay? I'm learning these crystals and gemstones like y'all. Brucite is your crystal. You see that? Can y'all see that? All right. It says, do you notice that you hear or know what people think, even if they don't say it out loud? Do y'all realize that? Do some of you realize that? Are you aware of the thoughts and feelings of animals and nature? Be aware of your breath to align and balance you. Okay. I'm going to say that again and say, be aware of your breath. To align and balance you, it is a t it is time to accept that you are naturally that you are a naturally good communicator. And embrace your ability to express yourself. Commuting, okay, with nature enables you to realize the um, oneness of all life. Okay, allow your connection with nature to expand your spiritual awareness. OK, it's something about you, Aries, that you connect with animals very, very well. It's like, you know what they're thinking or saying before they don't even have to say anything, anything. Or, you know, when people are saying before they even think you can about know what they're going to say. But it's something about you and animals. OK. You have a very deep connection with animals. It's the way you communicate your thought process. However it is, you definitely connect with them very, very well. Okay. That's why it's very vital that you be very sensitive to yourself. Do not, do not have those self-critical thoughts and, and, and bring yourself down and, um, have that low vibration about yourself because somebody else told you, you was like that. You don't let someone else dictate your life. Okay. Okay. Don't let someone else dictate your life. I don't care if it's from mama, daddy, uncle, whoever raised you. Okay. You look in that freaking mirror. When I tell you, you look in that freaking mirror, you look in that mirror and say, I am an amazing person. Because you are, you are very beautiful, very handsome, okay? You have a lot. You have persevered a lot, Aries, okay? Don't you dare criticize yourself. And it also the other card said in the last reading, gratitude. Be grateful and thankful that you have overcome so much in your life, okay? All right? You don't, you don't, you don't have permission to talk down on yourself. Okay, I'm going to say that again. You don't have permission, universe saying, to talk down on yourself. To, 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 to self-criticize who you are. Oh, I'm too fat. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, uh, What? The divine universe said you do not have permission to talk about yourself. OK, he wants you to be grateful and gratitude that you have overcome it, that you are a beautiful soul on this earth. Some people didn't wake up. Some people is in a coma. Some people don't have legs. Some people can't do things. OK, spirit wants you to be grateful from the uh, for your outcome of how you have came a long way. OK, that's for somebody to know. All right, let's see what you're, see what the intuitive me, what I intuitively see for you, Aries Spirit Guides, okay? Trust, just trust. Aries, just trust yourself. Look in that mirror and say, I am handsome. I am beautiful. I am amazing. And trust that. Don't, don't talk down on yourself. Don't lower yourself. Don't be against yourself. It's bad enough people, family, Friends have been against us, been against you, <clears throat> okay? But don't be against your own self. 
It's called self-love, okay? Thank you, spirit. Mm -hmm. Look at here. Abundance, okay? Your abundance. Abundance is coming your way in all areas. It does not necessarily mean money. It means health, wealth, life, okay? Life. Trust the process, Aries. Trust the process. You're successful, okay? All right? Abundance, success, flow, determination. Excuse me. Oops. Cleanse. A lot of you are not cleansing, okay? You need to cleanse, okay? And have faith. Have faith in yourself. Aries, have faith in yourself. Okay? Yes. Have faith and caution. Just, just be very mindful. Be very mindful of the things that you say to yourself. Okay? Because words have power. Okay? That self-critical thinking that you've been doing, been putting yourself down, be very careful because words have power. Okay? A lot of you already know that, but it's a lot of people that don't know that, Aries. Okay? All right? So let's see what your message is. Spirit guides, what is Aries' message? Spirit guides, what is Aries' message? Thank you. What is Aries' message? Okay. Okay. This is you. The queen or the king. You're sitting on your throne. Very beautiful. Very determined. You have a, what? You're shining brightly. You have your coins, your pinnacles. You're about your business. You're beautiful. But there's one thing that is going wrong. Okay? You have connection with animals that you, nobody re even realize. You connect. You have that connection with people that people don't realize. You're a very great, beautiful con communicator. But one thing you are, uh, a lot of you are having problems with, that you criticize yourself. Okay? You put yourself down. In your thoughts. Okay? You beat yourself up. The worst thing you can do is to be against your own self. Okay? Because you are your best friend. So I want all of you, some of you, one of you, whoever this reaches, whoever this for, to stop. You are your best friend. When you have self-love, you are your best friend. You are your best self. Only you can understand you. You understand me? Aries, I see a lot of you are very defensive. You're protecting your heart and your territory, okay? And it's okay because you've been through, but you're blocked. Now, if you're, if you're not looking for a relationship or anything, okay, then your heart is blocked. But if you're looking for your relationship and you're looking for things, you're looking for abundance in all area of your life, you're going to have to unblock that heart when it comes down to love, okay? All right, I'm just saying that's for some of you. And some of you are really move, have moved away from a very rough situation and you're still trying to, you know, trying to get everything, you know, learn how to adapt to your new self because you were so criticized when you was in your last relationship. So now you have to learn to adapt and you're moving out of rough situations. OK, and that's OK. All right. Yeah. You're overcoming a heartbreak, like I said before. You're over you're moving on to calmer waters. You're you're overcoming a heartbreak. All right. And it's taking you some time to, you know, because you're so used to hearing this person always talk down on you, say things to you, you know, always mess with your confidence level. OK. And now you have to learn to adjust and start to really know what it's like to love you to love who you are because you're a beautiful person. You just have to see it because a person can come into your life, Aries, and they can say, oh, you're so beautiful. You're so handsome. You're so pretty. You're so handsome. You're so nice looking. You're so pretty. They could tell you all that. They could tell you that all day. But if you don't see it, if you don't believe it, then it is, it's, it's, it shouldn't even been, it's just out the window. You have to realize it, okay? And that's why it takes time. It should take time for when you come out of relationships that you have time for yourself. You have that self-love, that self-time for you so that you 
can learn how to love you, okay? So that you can learn how to look in that mirror, okay? And say, you know what? I am amazing. You see that? I am worthy. Okay. You have to see it. All right. Okay. So a lot of you are getting past, you're getting over a heartbreak and it's going to take time for some of you. But for some of you that has, <coughs> excuse me, been out of this heartbreak for a while, um, you got to stop putting yourself down. Okay. You have to stop putting yourself down. Stop, um, criticizing yourself so much. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Tell me more about thank you, spirit. Yeah. A lot of you manifesting. Okay. Okay. A lot of you are doing a lot of manifestation. Okay. And that's a good thing. You're manifesting a beautiful abundance in your life. I also see that you're manifesting this beautiful, this handsome man or this beautiful woman in your life. Okay. Um, and that's a good thing too. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I feel as though that, yeah, I, I, I feel like some of you can get in your feelings sometimes, okay? I feel like some of you get in your feelings and that's when you start to kind of, you know, uh, down yourself, talk less of yourself, think less thoughts of yourself, like you're not good enough. But just try to stay out of that energy, okay? Try to keep your energy on a, up on high, okay? And by doing that, it's... By just body movement. When you feel yourself, you know, feeling negative energy, get up, start moving around. That's what the cards say. Body movement, okay? Start moving around. And um, you have a connection with animals, okay? Maybe some of you need to get an animal, okay? Whatever the animal is. You know, you have the two of pentacles, okay? I feel as though that, yeah, some of you is like on the fence, like, you know, I don't know, you know, one minute you feel good about yourself, one minute you don't, and then some of you are thinking about, I don't know, you know, if I even want to, you know, date anyone right now or be with anyone, and that's fine. What, who says something's wrong with that? Because the longer that you are not with someone, that's time for yourself. It's okay, okay, Aries? It's okay. All right. You you have sold a lot of seeds. You have the seven of pentacles. You have done a lot of work on yourself since you have been, you know, um, in a in a past relationships or situationship. You have definitely did a lot of sowing and working. You're just waiting for some harvest. OK. And I feel like for some of you, you waiting for this man to come along or this woman to come along. All right. And um, and for some of you, you like and some of you could be still on the fence. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I might be ready for something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. OK, that's for some of you. All right. Thank you, spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're just isolated right now. A lot of you just isolated. OK, you're very isolated. All right. Thank you, spirit. Tell me more. Thank you. Yeah, you're very isolated. Um, you have the high priestess, but you definitely, <clears throat> you're very spiritual, okay? You're, you're in tune with yourself, but you just isolated. You feel alone right now. You feel like all of your hard work that you've been doing, it, you know, it's, it's not paying off. It's not going the way you want to. I feel like some of you um, are having regrets, okay? Uh, regrets. Uh, maybe you have a regrets on something. You, you know, you're overthinking, okay? For some of you, you're regretting that you ended something with someone. You're overthinking it. You, you, you're definitely stressed out about uh, someone ended something with you. Or you're regretting that something ended because you have the moon card here. And that's all about fear, illusion of the unknown. I feel like since you've been out of this heartache, this heartbreak, okay, you're in fear. OK, you're in fear because you I feel like some of you have been so used to dealing with someone. OK, and you got to get out of that fear. OK, you got to just say, you know what? I am amazing. I deserve nothing but abundance in my life and I'm going to get it. I'm positive thoughts and energy. Aries, you are an amazing person until next time.